so we won. Harley Davidson apologized. No more DEI. No more woke crap. They apologized. Right? I mean, didn't they? Or did they? If you read the letter they sent out, I have a couple of things on this, but if they, you read the letter they sent out, it states, we regret the horrible things that was written online designed to divide the Harley-Davidson community. You regret all the negative media online designed to divide the media, so therefore we are going to change our mind. But wait a minute. We're pissed off at you because you screwed us over, but you say that what we did was designed to divide the Harley Davidson community. Do you know what? Let me let me put it to you in a different way. Okay, uh, some of you guys were married or or were dating, and some of you guys are not guys at all. You actually women, and you know this. Um, have you ever messed up with your girlfriend or your wife? and started the apology with uh, I'm really sorry if I offended you or something to that effect I feel really sorry if if you're offended I'm really sorry yeah that doesn't really go very well does it it doesn't go very far at all the only reason Harley Davidson is sorry is because yeah everybody's kind of complaining and it doesn't look good but you know what you haven't done the schmuck in charge, the CEO, is still the CEO. All your DEI and inclusive nonsense and all your diver all your nature stuff is still on your website, isn't it? And the board who hired Schmucko Sites is also still the board. And do you know what? BlackRock and company are still the majority stockholders or stockholders of Harley Davidson. Nothing is going to change. The CEO of BlackRock said a year ago or so that, well, we're going to do this uh, green nonsense and diversity stuff and wokeness and all that crap that we're going to do. And if companies, they don't want to go along with it, I guess we'll have to force them to change their behavior. The money people, the people who owns all the shares of Harley Davidson wants this and they are the ones who put the board there, who put sites there because he's an activist. They're not sorry. They're still all there. They're still all in where their world destructing agenda. This is much bigger than that. They're just going to quiet you down a little bit. Sorry, but the letter starts with insulting you for wanting to divide the Harley Davidson community with your negative publicity, the negative campaign. We are being blamed for calling them out on their screw up, so they have to kind of dial it back a bit. But once again, all their inclusive stuff is still on their website. So until the board goes, sites goes, and preferably somebody buys BlackRock and company out, so we actually have normal people owning normal companies who wants normal things just make good products for the customers instead of trying to destroy the world <sighs> I ain't buying it I'm sorry uh, you can cheer and be jubilant all you want and maybe they're gonna hold back a little bit maybe other companies are gonna learn something with this look at who owns the company BlackRock State Street Vanguard they're the ones who are forcing DEI and all this nonsense on the companies that they own the majority shares of. And that's pretty much where everything's going to go to die unless that changes. Sorry to bring it to you, but um, it's uh, an apology that your angry girlfriend wouldn't buy either. For now, eh, we'll have peace. But they're going to come back, swing it in, sneak it under the radar somewhere and don't worry 2030 no more gas Harleys just wait for them to screw us over again I'm not buying it sorry